Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to another episode of my Rise of a Republic Let's Play as the Glorious Roman Republic. Camillus is leading us to victory after winning several wars alongside his son, or several battles, I should say, alongside his son in the last episode, reclaiming back and also putting down another civil war that we had rise up. I mean, Rome is in turbulent times, and we are having to form her up and you know, build up a mighty empire. But we are achieving that, so, you know, slowly but surely, things are coming together. Camillus also now does have his uh, his new army, which is good. You can see we've got the elite heavy infantry, the hoplites. We just need some good cavalry in this army, and we'll be raring to go. Um, but for now, we're going to have to end the turn, see what goes down. The enemy do still have their own forces as well, which are being quite aggressive against us. So, we basically just have to sit by... Where the hell is it? There it is. We basically just have to sit back and... and hope for the best um i'm gonna go down this route uh, right here of more party loyalty because we've run into two civil wars in the past what six episodes so an extra six party loyalty in this area is actually really nice and I i'll take that i always like love governors especially from playing dei in dei they are the most important thing in the uh in the mod hands down of governing cities like making sure that you have uh statesmen everywhere literally is how your cities just function as they should without without them they kind of struggle um, at least in your most important regions god damn these agents are just frustrating but you know the best way oh my god he, he affected that army like it's just like go away there's just so many of them everywhere constantly um and the reason why is just because they're so many factions at the beginning of the game so everyone spams out like three or four. Oh god he got wounded as well oh, it's just like piss off like they're just annoying like i understand if they have one or two but it's constant like there's like four here right now like just give them a there's, yeah, there's just so many i guess maybe we can spend some time to assassinate these guys as well it's like a five percent chance though because their dudes are so fucking good i guess what i need to do is like put uh at least for these armies as well to do this because these this is like good help to resist any agents hurting me again we are just preparing these armies um camillus could go down but i kind of want to move camillus back to rome for a turn just to quickly recruit um some cavalry so we can get some equites which should be the upgrade up which we will do because this is going to be the pride of the empire oh, we can also upgrade these guys as well to what do we just have better slings or something? Oh, no, no, no. What they're doing, is it... Are they giving them this? Are we retraining them, giving them this? If that's the case, I I freaking love that change. If that is the actual case, um, I really, really do that. By upgrading them here, we're giving them these bonuses. I think I've been wanting in Total War. I don't know if that is. I'm sure you guys can maybe see if I, I'm just not paying enough attention. Maybe you guys can see. But I've been wanting that in Total War for a long time. Because it makes no sense. Like, all of a sudden, oh, we've got better training. We've got better trainers. We've got better equipment. So our new troops will be better than the army I've been using for the past 20 turns, you know. And fought hundreds of, or tens of battles with them. But, oh, these new, fresh recruits are better than them. That never made sense to me. Um, so if I can just up, go back and get these bonuses on my units that's absolutely awesome um, and I definitely love that change because it, it always felt sucky whenever you would get technology that gave you more chevrons on your units or something um, or, or I don't know gave you bet like more armor or something on units on newly recruited units you just have to then retrain your entire army which to me just felt so dumb uh, we'll get this culture conversion maybe actually I'll probably go in all provinces for sure yeah we'll do that public order in all provinces we also just got experience for new Newly recruited infantry. So that's what I'm... Oh, I think that's what just happened. I think, yeah, all of these guys just got the extra chevron. I guess we could test out with this army. Oh, yeah, none of these units have it, but that's fine. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I obviously wasn't paying enough attention, but that's awesome if that is the case. So after this turn, we're going to go down south, reclaim our province, and then push into not the Sam Knights, but the other guys, the purple guys, the ones who have been mainly this faction, the guys who have been mainly fighting me. Oh, it's just every turn. Like, imagine if I was at war with another faction to my north or something. Another four agents coming in there. It's just like, it's just like too much. It really is. Because it's just, it's just an action every single turn. Because they don't have to worry about money. It's not like they're prioritizing building army troops or anything like that. They're literally just spamming out these units. And it's frustrating. 
Uh, imminent opposition. Local bandits have offered you their service to intimidate the opponents. Yeah, sure. Because if we don't get them, the opponents will. Uh, quickly have a look how we got. So we have got a new house. And Camillus is leading it? Camillus is in my... My house. How is he... What the hell happens here then? Because he's not my faction leader, but he's my heir, right? This is weird. Can I no longer declare him my heir? Like, what happens if... Spread rumors, assassinate... Adopt... Yeah, are, they, like, are these guys no longer... This is weird, what's happened now. I can still use her, use her and stuff. And Camillus doesn't like us either, even though... If Camillus rebels, I'm fucked. Oh, he's a fucking awful. He's a populist, so when cities are unhappy, he's unhappy. So pa How is he a pacifist? This is uh, this has been dumb. This is dumb. Like he's in my family. Why can he? Just, I guess he can go lead another party because I'm playing as like this guy really. But maybe we should have this guy killed. We can't commit suicide. His gravitas is too high. Hmm. This sucks. Well, we can send a gift. We can't even send a gift to Camillus either. So, what? Do we just get a rebellion in seven turns? Like. Hmm, interesting. It's minus two loyalty for establishing any diplomatic stuff. Pacifist, minus five loyalty per faction we're at war with, and also unhappy provinces. So we need to try and get our cities happy as soon as possible, really. God damn. I guess we can try and... I just don't know what to do. Oh, his army is done. He's... Camillus himself does still need replenishment, but... You just sit there. You're basically blocking them from getting around here. If he wants to go through you, he has to go through that. Um, and I guess you come down south. Oh, he can't now. So that, that city's probably going to fall again. But we haven't touched it, so I guess that's fine. And this region's going to be happy soon enough. You're not going to be happy. Nice, you come back. We'll set you staring out across the, uh, the wastes. Yeah, we don't have a lot of money right now because of this new model army. But we're just going to go bang, bang, and then move into our cities. Perfect. So, Emma turn again. I'm not a fan of Camillus going over. I guess it, he, like, but he was my heir as well, was he not? Maybe I need to declare him my heir so he could lead my family. Like, can I never have him as my factor? Like, what happens when he becomes... Are you... Really? I mean, I guess... Really? I mean, either way, I don't want to fight this battle. We're just going to auto-resolve it. And obviously, we're going to pick the close victory, of course. Take the money. We need the money at the moment. I mean, I guess Camillus is going to smash them. I mean, they're army, I imagine, after they've done all their million agent turns again, are going to be coming over and uh, harassing us. Maybe I just need to make my champions really good at assassination and just slaughter their dudes because they are annoying as F. Intimidate? What? Minus 10 loyalty for 5 turns? Well... Damn. I mean, he's married, which is good. Promoted the character as well. This is just like, really like, hurt me. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to... To do? <laughs> is this his wife? No, this is just some other person. We can't secure him any more promotions. We can secure his son a promotion. No. Secure. We can secure his wife a promotion. Which we will do. Get her more gravitas. Um, We can declare heir. Who's my heir at the moment? Oh, look. So both of these guys from the family tree are... Is this him? Then who the fuck is my heir? Like, this is my faction leader, but... You're from a different house? I'm so confused right now. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. And he's from another party. So this is no longer... This is no longer my house then, surely. Like... I'm tempted just to get this guy killed. Um, and see what happens. Because I would love to play as Camillus. Like... Declare who will be inherit this dynasty. Well, this guy I want. Oh, wait. Do I do this? And then, yeah. I guess we'll choose his son, I guess. We can't choose him. 
me a member of both the ruling party and the bloodline. Is he not part of my bloodline? I guess he's... Well, I mean, technically, according to this, he is. Oh, he's not part of our ruling party, is he? I guess this... I guess we'll choose his son. I mean, his son will probably do it anyway. Uh, whatever. It's kind of annoying. I, I, sh I guess I should have done that beforehand, right? So he couldn't have done it. Okay, come on, let's just smash this army. Easy battle. No question about it. And then come down, finish these guys off, and then we can be aggressive. We're going to run, we're going to take the town. This town has gone back and forth so many times. And then we'll kill their army next turn. You, again, need just need your replenishment. You can just basically sit there and keep on getting your replenishment. Um, nice, nice, nice. New technology done. I think it'll sink in here. Yeah, we've got pick this up. So we've got public order in more of our regions. I'll take that. More tax, more public order. Political action costs. Is there anything that gives me political loyalty? Because that's what we're really struggling with right now. Because our troops are good enough, I think, for, for, for now. We actually have a lot of food. We don't need to waste our money there. Converting this vote is probably now the best time to do so. We don't need that barracks there, but we do need... Uh, let's get a farming colony down here. We still have to worry about stuff over here, but yeah, we we'll be fine. And we're doing that. God damn. I might just lower taxes. Can we afford to lower taxes? We just need happiness because we need to make Camillus' party happy. Because the thing is, if Camillus fucking rebels against me, I lose his entire army or whatever. I obviously take his army away from him before that. But, like, can I have something that gives him loyalty to me? Like, damn. He's so good. And if I have to just kill him, that's just so dumb. Because, like, he just seceded his party. Did I get this? Why did I ever... Oh, no, I didn't. Good. Night battles would actually probably be pretty decent. Public order and culture conversion is nice. Anything that gives, like, more loyalty? It doesn't, probably not, right? But hey, it would be nice. Um, so let's just get more authority on him now, I think. Well, that's actually really nice as well. It also allows us to get a new ability called Unity. I imagine it's probably pretty good. Anything here that gives us more, <laughs> more loyalty? Literally just looking at anything that gives me more loyalty. Doesn't look like it. Damn, if we lose him, I am going to rage quit. So let's end the turn um, and continue on. The extra 4% upkeep cost will be pretty big for our forces. We just need to be aggressive now and then start taking land. Um, I might switch over this guy as well down here. I might switch over these two governors so that he can bring the extra six. You're not going to take the city, surely? No way you're taking the city. Even though we are a half garrison. We'll beat you back that way. So what it seems like happening, uh, what it seems like will happen, is that the um, is that the release slaves will give you the um, the immediate. Are we at war? No, we're not. But I'm taking this. I assume uh, you're just some rando faction looking at who's also at war. With this faction, maybe. I don't know. We're not at war. Thank God. Out of there. We're, we're close enough to the city. Okay, so we once again have this region taken and somewhat secured. You're still replenishing, but I want you to go and kill that. And then just garrison yourself right here. Okay, this is, this is slowly going down. I guess we can secure loyalty if we save up money. I guess, can we send Camillus to do anything? We, we literally can't do anything with him yet either. Can't even do anything like well, yeah. I don't, just don't know what's like, what to do. If you guys have any suggestions, please do let me know in the comments. We could try and we could try and assassinate him. What would happen if we tried to assassinate him? We could try, and then what would happen? But like then Camillus wouldn't get it, and our party would probably be weaker, right? Because he has, I mean, he's not very. He is, he is an okay amount of loyalty. I guess we'll send a. We can't even send a gift to Camillus either. So like. 
what are we even supposed to do with uh, with him? I think maybe it's just been like a little bit glitchy. I don't know. Um, so we do need to get some money. Let's go and raise these taxes back up. We just need these provinces to be happy again. So yeah, let's just do it now. Let's go and tra tra transfer these guys over. Uh, we can't do it again this turn, but next turn we'll be able to do it. Um, and I guess you as well just go down that route of making political parties like me. Because I, I kind of desperately do need it. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're going to return again. Let our money build up a little bit. Oh, we actually can... Do, oh, we'll definitely do this one as well. Ten. That's ten right there. That's a lot. And if we save up enough money, we can then make him like us. We still have a couple more turns of protection. I think it's at least three more turns. So we'll be able to make it work, but... Yeah, it's kind of annoying. But hey, we'll, we'll roll with it. Stuff like this. At least stuff like this makes it more interesting, right? Like, when, when, I, when I... Like, I am complaining about stuff, but when I'm complaining about it, it's more so just because it's... Like, it's not negative criticism of the mechanic even though it's kind of a bit weird but the way it's turned out um you know like it's kind of cool the way oh they really you're gonna attack the city but my army's i guess <laughs> i guess that was my bad for leaving the city but i would have thought the army would have been in range but i guess technically because the uh go away like stop doing he's got that yeah serves you right um, because the army, there was no garrison in the city, they could just do that. Oh well, I guess we have a city battle. Once again, um, consequence in your dividends return accomplished, um, and increased research rate for civil tech. Nice. Enemy wounded. Good, good, good. Military sabotage right over here. And we've lost our goddamn edict. There's a rebellion here as well somewhere. Apparently. Don't know where. There is a rebellion, but apparently, because we got minus 20 happiness, or plus 20 happiness. Uh, let's go ahead and build something happy here. Build a church? Yeah, let's build a church here. Let's bring some... Ah, let's build like an amphitheater. Can we build like an amphitheater? Does this go into anything? No, it's a trader or a, a stadium. A stadium could be kind of cool. Also makes troops cheaper, so let's just build a stadium, yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm going to fight this battle. Um, let's go and see how Camillus's men uh, train. I mean, look how good they are already. Imagine if we end up like... Imagine if Camillus ends up breaking away and his um, his son takes over my main house. And it's, you know, father versus son. Kind of cool. Yeah, we have so many missiles in this army. I forgot about that. Um, the Velites as well. We're just gonna smash through the front door, right? It's a cool looking city though. I like how there's like a military camp out here and stuff. All pretty interesting. Okay, let's take a look at these men then. So these are our elite swords. The ones we get before Hastati, Principes and stuff. Bastards. Okay, let's go ahead and just initiate our front line then. Um, let's go and just push down here then. Uh, we'll push up the singers as well to start harassing javelins to uh, to maybe come around this side. We'll then go ahead and dispatch, I don't know, like you guys. We probably don't need that many rounds here. The hoplites can probably just push like around this left flank here. And we'll just kind of have more reinforcements here as well. Camillus can sit back because he's kind of low. And then our heavy cavalry can also move around here as well. Let's take a look at the equites as well. They're just going to be like they are in Rome or a little bit different. Uh, a little bit different. There's not as much armor, really. So we're going to push forward our slingers. The slingers are going to start harassing these formations. I mean, their men are going to get... Like, they're just not... This is kind of a minor faction, so it's not like we expect much from them. They're just pumping out armies, and it's a little bit hard to deal with them, but we will deal with them nonetheless. Yeah, so literally, slingers just form up here, start harassing. The rest of our swords are basically all just... Oh, okay, hello. Not see that. Definitely start hitting them, then. Uh, we'll go into normal speed as well now. So we'll deploy two swords. We can probably deploy one sword down here. You two swords turn your face there. Cavalry is just scouting out like so. Velites there with more sword infantry coming in there. Yes, commander. 
see what these bad boy swords can do. So I'm expecting these swords just to literally just chop through these guys like they're butter. Like I'm not expecting them to put up a good fight. Same over here as well. That's why I've deployed one unit of infantry here to kill this. Their cavalry looks sick though. The Mercian uh, companion cavalry. That looks pretty scary actually. Maybe we should deploy another unit of swords up here as well. Caught all their missiles here as well, it's perfect. Wait, what the hell? They not have they have like no defense back here whatsoever. Okay, perfect. Well Camillus come around here then as well. We also have this entire rear guard of spears, which is again pretty good as well. Yeah, cavalry will just run amok. Okay, well we've, we've smashed them here. Swords, yeah. Oh my god, this isn't gonna be close. This is gonna be an absolute massacre right here. Poor, poor dudes. You know, I mean, I'm to deploy most of our men either. And again, because this is a city battle, we as well don't have to really worry too much about this. It's kind of hoping that this fight would be over a little bit sooner. But I mean, I guess we are, you know, breaking them down. It's the javelins and stuff they have which are really hurting me right here. Doing the damage on these guys. Maybe we should try and pull back a little bit until this cavalry can turn up. This still annoys me. Like, why is the general in the city center? His entire army is fighting elsewhere. Let him fight with the rest of his men, you know? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, missiles actually do that. You come around to like, he's just sitting there and this is so dumb. Oh, the Velites though as well. The Velites should be enough to break this. All oh, that damage. You guys hit like these guys could they're like the least likely to do for any fire. We have quick reload as well. Oh, that's amazing. Quick reload your way in. Okay, the general's finally coming up. It's too late, you know? Like, he should have been out here ages ago. What does unity do? Your general slightly improves the morale of all units for an extended period of time. Can only be used once per battle. So I could pop it right now, right? And it'll just affect everyone. That's amazing. I love that. That's awesome. You guys get out of there now. Well, then we'll just move around and help to finish off this last fight. Move our cavalry around here as well as so the fighting does continue. Okay, I'm sorry, get a few more cinematic shots in. Velites must be racking up the kills along with our infantry. We're going to just pour them in. I mean, we have two units here. We can have one there and like one there. So we're going to be great experience for our men. Uh, yeah, singers, maybe get back again. Probably don't want to overcommit you too much. Just come in and finish off this general. Some swords as well. So these guys don't actually have javelins, though, which is interesting to know. Kind of would have been nice if they would have had javelins. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. We're bringing in the heavy, uh, heavy hop lights as well. Throwing Camillus. Spire is going to basically just try and just cluster this to our. Uh, our uh, point of view. Throwing some cavalry over here as well as the the javelins have run out of ammunition. How many kills did they get? I guess we'll see after the battle. Throwing some cavalry here as well just to try and finish this off. They kind of like back themselves into a corner, right? There is no escape from here whatsoever. This is where they make their stand, I guess. This is where they get cut to pieces. General's gone as well. Perfect. And victory. We'll just end this. Obviously, we don't need to fight it. God damn, hopefully this faction we finally dealt with. We lost 200 men then, yeah. This, look at them then, they're just not equipped. Like, we've got heavy armor on and like, they just don't stand a chance anymore. We did take casualties on a few of our units, but the rest of our infantry, like 200 kills on this unit and it's completely fine. That's goddamn brutal. Yeah! Right. So we should no longer be losing these cities, my god. We definitely want to build this up. Let's go ahead. We already have a temple here. So let's go and build some farms. And let's build that as well. We definitely need happiness places. But more food is always good. More growth and stuff. 
Um, so next turn we're going to go smash their city. We might even decide to start looting it. So we have a nice little frontier battle line right here. Okay, politics. Let's have a look at it. So still minus 34. My political actions you don't like? I can't believe as well that when we're at war with people, he's pissed at me. Like, like it shouldn't be when we're at war. It should be like defensive wars. Because I can't help it if the AI just declares war on me constantly, you know? Like, and he obviously holds so much territory as well. I can't... I mean, we don't have enough money to secure him either. We're going to have to save up our cash. Because this guy likes us. Yeah, I just don't know what else to do, really. And we can reduce it a little bit, right, by doing this. Uh, yeah, we can reduce it a little bit by, like, I think, what is it, six? I mean, it helps. And nice. Uh, the veteran leveled up as well. So, yeah, we want to keep on going for anything that gives me experience on my units. I mean, even just giving them extra bonuses as well for, like, melee attack. That's pretty good as well. Present in army plus three melee attack for, plus three melee defense. Public order is also pretty good though as well because, you know, he is a pacifist after all. There we go. No, wait, that's not the one we want. That's not even that good. So he gets plus two to all attributes, which is nice, but a hundred, like a thousand, that's just not even worth it. Um, let's go ahead and pick up, this is what I wanted. Yeah, this is what I wanted, more campaign movement range for him. So he can basically just get wherever he wants to. I mean, he already probably has a huge, so what, he has 24% there from the general he has another 18% from there, plus another 11% from this guy. No, that's different as well. So he has 29.5% there, 24% there, and then 10% there. So basically like 55% extra movement range. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And um, again, we're just making these provinces happy now, I think. So we'll just do this and build... Oh, we don't have the money. Fuck. Um, okay. And again, we've got this. So we'll do party loyalty once again. So I think we will be able to make Camillus, is, Camillus happy. But we're going to have to keep on securing loyalty every so often. And uh, really trying to push it as much as we can. We get 16 from the edict and the governor. And the statesman. Our favour and friendship is rarely expressed in such golden terms. Mm. I'm going to accept this. It gives me more loyalty with Camillus' house. And like, it just means I can I can just solely focus on the Sam Knights um, and take them out. I mean, I can just declare war on this faction afterwards, so sure. I'll take your gold. I'll take peace. Um, we also got this as well, which is good. More public order. Three turns to make people like me again. Bit shaky. Is there a rebellion here or what? Because it's like... Is there a rebellion here? Because it's going up by plus 20. So we've got peace, which is nice. Uh, research rate, we don't really need that right now. Okay, what are we looking at right now? What's the damage? So minus 17, which is good because we've got, obviously, the province um, stuff. The character's not doing it? There's no, like, character. General winning battles as well is obviously really good. Promoted characters? Is that what is? But that looks only plus one, right? Plus six uh, for the party uh, party parent general. Oh, so it has to be in... Okay, so this, he has to be in an army for it. Okay. Do we need to put him in the army? Could we? But we can't because we've got a champion there. Does this champion have any? That probably would have been good to look at. Hmm. Yeah. I wasted a lot of it. I should have read that a bit more than fuck. Oh, well. Um, so next, this is obviously our next target coming down here. We're actually at war with both of these factions as well. This, these guys as well, so that's fine. So Camillus, you honestly do need another turn of replenishment, so that's fine. Is there a rebellion around here, which I just don't know about? Maybe not. Apparently you can't move at all. Um... Yeah, sure. Just make... Veteran just gives a huge bonus to these guys. Now they're in Force March. They glitched out, I think. Like, I feel like there's a rebellion here, but I mean, I'll take the happiness. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, we have lots of money now because of a peace treaty as well. So we don't. We obviously don't need to waste our money yet until the protection's gone. But we'll keep an eye on that. Can we appoint him now? No, we can't. So, in crimes of crisis, select one of your three top gravitas generals. They will receive a bonus to their campaign movement range, replenishment rate, and morale while improving public order in all of your lands. This effect will last two turns. Like, but none of these guys are my generals, right? So it's not like I need them to. Um, and I guess we'll, we will give Camillus a son. Heir to my dynasty, right? Sure. I should have I should have made him my heir like ages ago and that would have stopped all of this. But I shouldn't like have to do that. It just seems a bit weird for me having to do that. Um, oh, we can level up as well. Also, why does he no longer have a career? He no longer has a career. Everyone else does, but maybe he's already at the top of it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Declare another heir. I mean, yeah, he'll be my heir for now. Let's organize the games. Let's organize the games here because we're so close to it uh, working and being really happy. And that'll obviously help out. Yeah, that'll hopefully help out the pacifist. So, overall, he's basically down there. And we're getting there. It wouldn't be bad if I could get him to adopt another character. And then we could use his adopted character to do all of these loyalty stuff and just affect him. Because I think, I think there's some sort of like issue right now with Camillus being in my family tree and being a leader of another party. But I, I don't see why that can't happen. Like, brother v. brother and stuff. So I can't see why that can't happen. It's just interesting. Like, and a lot of this stuff, like, it might sound like I'm being negative and complaining. It's just me trying to figure it out. And I guess it's my way of uh, trying to figure it out. Also, this must be a bug because, like, unless a full stack's about to come out of nowhere. Yeah, leveling from re rebels, but... Where are they? <laughs> uh, I guess so I guess we'll never know. So we need what one more? We still need two more turns to replenish. So we're gonna wait one more turn to replenish. We still need, actually need a couple more turns. We're gonna wait one more turn and then we're gonna march uh, down into this and start taking out the Sam Knights. I think. Yeah, we'll take this, take this, maybe even move up this army as well um, to help out. This is kind of more of like my secondary army. And also, I guess we should spend a bit of money. We don't actually have the money to spend on that. That's fine. Anyone else want to trade with us now? Like, you guys do like us quite a lot. The gods bless us with your presence today. No. Also, uh, this faction is now expanded down here. Interesting. We're going to have to be careful because this faction uh, was historically the one that uh, did smash Rome in, uh, in real life. And basically burnt Rome or sacked Rome. As you have made the effort to meet me. I will make the effort to consider what you want. Yeah, no, you won't. <laughs> no one wants to do anything diplomatically. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I guess I should be sending more of these guys, but, like, there should be someone at least, like, who's just willing to be just to be chill and, like, hit me up. Like, who's ha who, is he part of my house, or is he... He's part of... He's just a politician, right? So I need to hire him first. Can I hire for this house? Because it'd be great to... Be able to, oh, he doesn't like me now as well. Why don't you like me? Political actions? Other factors? Mm, fuck. Oh, well, as long as this... Oh, God, this is just difficult. I don't know. If I, am I just playing this really wrong? I mean, give, me, give me some advice if you guys can in the comments down below. Because the thing is, I need my money to secure the loyalty. So it's not like I can constantly be sending people out. Sabotage, of course. Look how many agents are here. This is just pure AIDS right now. They are indeed, Camillus. You go, you conquer and take everything. Um, so, we're only at war with one more faction at the moment, which is good. I guess you can sit on the border as well in here, just to protect it. This region's now happy, which will help with the pacifist stuff. This route, Rome is going to eventually be happy. Uh, so let's just double check this I want to take a look at. So if we can organize games, plus loyalty, just, just so... Yeah, we honestly really need a politician here. Just can't do anything. 
I guess we could get rid of his general ship and do something like here. I just adopt him, though we can't. God damn. I uh, will seek a, a wife for him as well. Try and get her something good. What's she? Authority and slave unrest. That's fine. Um, what do we want to do? Anything we can do? Like, can she like flirt or anything? No. Can divorce her. Don't want to obviously do that. Do a favor. Gravitas authorities, nothing really great. Nothing that boosts loyalty. So we'll do this. Try and make the faction to the north like me a bit more, this one. Because they're pretty big and they could be a good defender up there. Um, this is cool, it's in the turn again. We've got, like, our, at least our army, like, militarily, we're sorted. Unless, obviously, Camillus breaks away from us and then... We're fucked. <laughs> the campaign's probably over, but we'll see what happens. We'll do everything in our power to prevent that. So let's win this battle first before I look at the a million percent that... Wait, what? Oh, they have an entire army there? Okay, cool. Well, we're going to encircle that and we'll fight this. There was an army around here somewhere. That'll be a fun battle to fight. Pretty good text. Like that, maybe. Construction cost. I guess getting better political actions could be nice as well. But also, just having, I mean, I, I think our army, the army needs to be any better. So I think we can just simply focus on. Um, simply just focus on. Trying to boost up these uh, characters and stuff. Okay, so we'll, I guess we'll take a look at it now. We're at nine. We're only at a nine percent risk, which isn't bad. If we secure his loyalty, which we have to do, brings him down to a three. So he's not going to be bad. And if we keep winning battles with him, we'll be fine. Do we have an next Imperium level. Does it? So if we have an next Imperium level, it gives us more minus loyalty. Like, fuck me. God damn. I mean, he doesn't even have much influence in the Senate, but. He just has, he has the most land, like, can men do? Just declare another heir? You don't need to, right? So we just need more people in his house as well, but I don't think hiring politicians would be good. Oh, we can, yeah. But there's no... There's no people to hire for his house, unfortunately. We can maybe hire another general and then kick him. But yeah, we can maybe look for another general and then just get rid of him. Maybe one of his sons, his other son. House Fuhrer. No, because they come to my house, so that's no, weird. Maybe it is just like kind of a bit glitchy and that shouldn't happen. But I guess, I guess, you know, this is not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll fight this battle. Uh, we'll fight this battle next episode. Um, you know, this will be a very, very important one. They obviously got a very nice army. Some really, really good cavalry I want to test out and see how they fare. Um, and they'll probably sally out and attack me as well. So yeah, if you guys are looking forward to this battle, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.